this video, I might do, I might talk, and I might just do a voiceover. Um, main reason is because I'm just trying to knock this joint out, and usually when I do a lot of videos and I'm talking and I'm explaining and stuff, uh, it takes longer to do the job. You know, me just setting the camera down, record, do the job, come back, do a voiceover, good to go. We're gonna take the bumper off, figure out how to line up these quick, quick release tabs, uh, drill the holes, uh, do test fitment um, to make sure that we have everything lined up and then snap everything in. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be better than what we got right now. Quick release hatch too. So this side goes on the bumper and this side pretty much goes, uh, it attaches to your frame. One of each for both sides, driver and passenger side. Uh, circular drill bits. So that way we can pretty much um, drill a uh, hole to represent where we need to install. So right there. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is just pretty much remove the top three screws. And this is going to help release that tension on that driver's side bumper and this will allow me to manually push that bumper in to kind of get it somewhat aligned all right so what we have here is our release adapters and this is pretty much how it works and just press the button pops right off all right, so I'm trying to figure out the best drill bit. Drill the hole throughout here. Right next to that screw. There's our hole. So I'm gonna probably might change this drill bit for a bigger one. So that way we can get this to slide all the way through and then put the washer on the back and a nut and then tighten it up. needs to come back like that now let's try it again stick it through the hole so you can see how flush that is I can take this and attach it but I need to put my wash on first so now we got that wash on that side push that over there still look good so now let's get our next washer and put it on the other side uh. all right I got the uh, nut and the washer on on the back it's quite <laughs> difficult to get it on but she's on let's see if we can release Let's see if we can right, release and tighten. What we want to do is push this bumper on and take your uh, like a hammer and hit this to pretty much create some sort of dent into it. And that way we'll know where to drill. tight so that way you can actually turn it on the threads. Alright, 
I got it on. Um, just had it pretty much pushed this side in with my hand and then it clicked in. Um, I'm gonna see if I can tighten it up from this side uh, to really get it secure. So I'll just give it a little couple turns. So one inch, and they, I should have got a one and a half, which would have made it longer. This is too short. what it's worth uh this kit is definitely worth the money i might just order uh yeah i'm gonna just order four one and a half seeing that the one inch works but it's not that long i just need it just a little bit more so the one inch and a half should work so i'm gonna, I'm gonna order four so i can put one here one here and then if we're gonna go over to the other side where as you can see this is pretty much being held on by one custom screw that's underneath there um, so, you know, this kind of gives you ideas of what you can do in a sense that if you get the actual proper size, you'll be able to pop your bumper on and pop your bumper off. I would highly recommend everybody to start off with the, probably the one and a half if you have the IS-250. <sighs> you know, lessons learned, but I'd definitely say this quick release latches damn sure worth the money